Hi, this is Dan from edufuturist.com. Uh, make sure you get over to edufuturist.com to check out the podcasts and blogs that we publish on a daily basis. This is going to be my blog for today. Uh, I've decided to do it as a video and I'm going to look at 10 reasons why you should be using Canva. If you're wondering what I'm recording this on, I'm recording it using the Screencastify Google Chrome extension. Uh, check that out, it's a really good tool for doing screencasts. So let's have a look at Canva. If you're like me and you use Adobe Photoshop on a regular basis, um, very uh, complicated bit of software um, to use and sometimes you just don't need the functionality that Photoshop has, you just wanna quickly design something um, and it, that is that can be basic but also can be, um, can be nicely designed you're going to use Canva. Canva is at canva.com and that leads me to the first reason why you should be using Canva. You can log in using your Google account. You can also log in using Facebook. If I click log in with Google there, it's going to take me to a separate window. I can put my Google credentials in and it's going to get me logged in without having to create a separate account. Uh, really handy um, if you haven't got the time to be creating a completely new account for every app that you go on, every website you go on, the ability to log in with Google. Now go some of my Google accounts there. I'm going to log in with this Google account, so I'll just click that. And then I should close and take me back to the original window, and it's going to open up in that Google account. First of all, you'll see this is kind of the, the home page for Canva. Um, you have got some options down the left hand side here, which we will talk about soon. Uh, you've also got some quick start designs that you can click, use those templates and edit. And below there's some of the designs that I've designed in the past. This isn't my main account, um, but just some stuff I've played around with there. Uh, which leads me to the second reason why you should be using Canva to design something very quickly and simply is that you can use one of their templates. There are there must be hundreds and hundreds of templates in here. Um, a nice way to find a template is by just searching. So if I type in Twitter, it's gonna give me two options there, a Twitter header that you'd have on your profile on Twitter or a Twitter post. So if you want optimal size and resolution for a Twitter post image, if you click that, it's gonna give you it. So there is the blank canvas. Also down the left-hand side, if you click one of these templates, it's gonna give you a nicely designed uh, template that you can use and edit. So let's say um, I'm doing something really quickly. I wanna post a quote to Twitter. Uh, I might just pick this that'll load and then I can just quickly edit text. I change it to how I want it to look. I can put pictures in there, I can change the background. You'll see that these are just images that have been put in. I can get rid of that one. Um, I can maybe just bring this one over here slightly and I can edit that to how I want it. Also, I can put my own elements there, which brings me to the third reason why you should be using Canva for design is the elements. The elements that you are given here is, is phenomenal, really. Uh, there's so many different ones. So if you go down the left-hand side, uh, you get the option of elements. You have got different types of elements. So if you look here, we've got recently used. I've got free photographs. Now, there must be hundreds, if not thousands, of free stock photographs that you can use. Um, if I just click one, that will just appear in there. I can resize it and use it how I wish in my image. Also, I can use different types of grids if I want. So let's say I'll just pull that grid in there. That'll give me a grid that I can then drag pictures into and they will snap into the grid parameters that are set by that template grid. Also, I can put a shape in there. If I just click that, I've got a shape. I can also change the color of the shape in the top left there where it says color to change it to purple. Uh, I've got charts that I can use. If I want to use a handy chart, I can input the data here and then that turns into the, the chart just there. Uh, if I come out of that, I've got lines I can use. I can use a frame. Frames are quite handy if you want to insert a picture, but um, within a certain shape. So for example, if I put that frame in there and I drag this picture in over that, it will take the shape of um, 
that frame. I've also got illustrations I can use. Again, there are hundreds of different illustrations, icons that I can use there, just at the bottom. Yeah, there's just there's just so much you can use. In fact, you can, when you search for something, um, what there are, as it says there, get over 1.5 million premium images, which you pay for. I can only say I've never uh, had to pay for an image. There's just so many options in there. Uh, so let's have a look at number four on the reasons why you should be using Canva. And that's because you can actually, instead of just using this for creating an image that you will download as an image, you can also use this as a presentation tool. How do I do that? Well, I can include, if I just get rid of the sidebar here, I can include different pages. So if I click this icon up here, it copies the page. So now I have two pages, I've got page one, page two uh, if I just zoom out there so you can see I've got page one page two I can add as many new pages as I need to and essentially create a presentation and how, how do I present that if I go to the top here and click the downward button it will give me it's suggesting that I publish it to Twitter obviously because I created that as a Twitter template but if I click present it will present that as a presentation. It's gonna ask me for a transition slide. So let's say I want that to fade. And then I click present that. And that will come up as a presentation and I can just flick through that presentation as I need to. So it becomes a really nice uh, presentation tool where you know that the quality of the graphic design in there is gonna be of a great standard. How else can that presentation tool be be enhanced? Well, in quite a new feature for Canva is you can embed. So if I go over to the more option on the left hand side, if I click that, and the top option there is to embed. If I click that, I can put YouTube videos in, TED videos, uh, Vimeos, Spotify, iTunes, there's lots of different formats, lots of different media I can put in there. Let's just click that YouTube there and it's gonna put a YouTube video in the middle of that page. When I present, I can play that YouTube video. So nice way to enhance presentations through using Canva. Another reason why you should be using Canva, and this is reason number eight, is that the, you can create a team. If you look on the left-hand side here, if I click create a team, I can invite different people via that email address into that team. And then when I'm designing, I can share different designs with my team, give them editing, editing access um, so they can come in, edit with me. And yeah, it's a nice way to collaborate on designs. And reason number 10 is that you can download designs in full print re resolution. So if I go back home and I click this infographic here, which is the infographic that will be accompanying this video in the blog. It's just a nice reminder of the reminder of the 10 different reasons why you should be using Canva. There it is there, which I've created in Canva and created probably within about three minutes. You can see I've added an image, created the background and just added text, very simple. If I click the download icon here, get different options, PNG, JPEG, uh, PDF stand, but then also PDF print that downloads that as a full re resolution for print. And that works so well that um, about a year ago, I used Canva to design some stand and banners. Um, so very large designs, did them in here and downloaded the design as a PDF print and they came out in full resolution. So they are 10 reasons why you should be using Canva. Um, if you like this, if you've got any other reasons why people should be using Canva, please leave a comment and check out edufuturists.com.